Okay, let's take a look around this. Um, I think it's a 1987. It's on a D plate. It's either 86 or 87, but uh, I think from memory it's a 1987. Um, Land Rover 90 V8, genuine county station wagon. Um, obviously been repainted fairly recently uh, to resemble and uh, refurbished really to um, to resemble one of those uh, Fire and Ice limited editions, the uh, the black and white ones. Um, but it is a genuine, say, County V8. Um, and the paint's also very attractive to local insects by the look of it. They seem to be swarming over it. Don't know why. Uh, probably because of its brightness. Um, right, what can we tell you about it? Let's just walk around and see what it's got on it. So, a genuine factory County V8. It's got black checker plate to the wing tops, modesty covers, rear quarters, stuff like that. Um, it's white with a black roof now. Originally, it was red with a white roof. Uh, it's got a matching set of four BF Goodrich radial mud terrain TA tyres on it, um, size wise. Can't see what size that one is. Uh, 235 85R16s they are. Um, it's got a military spec front bumper on it with the uh, central towing eye. It's also got a combination steering and axle guard under the front. And as I say, the local insects are absolutely loving this paintwork. Um, it's got checker plate on the uh, scuttle corners as well. Plane just going over. Um, otherwise, externally, it's got a rear step mounted on the tow pack, uh, swing away spare wheel carrier as well. And then inside, um, it's six seat spec, this one. Two seats in the front and uh, lockable centre, sort of uh, one of those steel centre cubby boxes with the um, radio CD is in there, um, it's got a rev counter, sports steering wheel, a couple of extra gauges and in the back the four transverse rear seats um, and also checker plate, um, checker plate tailgate interior. Right, let's walk around and pick out some good bits and bad bits. So I think it was painted fairly recently, um, very bright white with um, black additions and uh, it's obviously had lots of new bits on it. I think the, um, the eyebrows are new as of these the, uh, the light covers and things. Um, paint works generally not too bad at all actually. It's properly sprayed rather than uh, roller or brush, shall we say. Um, it's not a bad job. So certainly the insects seem to like it. Um, it's nice all around the bonnet area. Down the near sides, um, they didn't bother to get all the little dinks and donks out of it, which I suppose by with a Land Rover doesn't really matter, but the, um, the near side front wing is slightly sort of ripply up here. There's a slight dink there and there's a longer depression just there in the near side front wing but um, it doesn't look out of place, shall we say, being, a, being an older Landy. Up here on the scuttle corner, this bit all looks pretty good. Perhaps I don't like the overspray around the rubber there, but um, can't be helped. Um, obviously this has been, uh, been riveted on the, uh, the scuttle corner uh, piece, but I can't see anything unpleasant down the sides or around the back, so I guess it must all look reasonably good underneath. Um, a post is pretty good. Well, very good in fact. <coughs> um, near side door, obviously there's no electrolytic reaction on this one, or very little. There's a tiny bit of bubbling just coming up here around the, um, around the edge of the bottom hinge. Um, and a bit of uh, just bubbling coming up along the bottom of the door there. But that's about it really. Otherwise near side door is pretty good. Ladybirds seem to like it as well. Um, inside here, it's all uh, quite nice in there. That's all pretty good. Obviously you can see the original red in places inside here in the rear tub and everything. Um, near side door is good. It feels, it looks, in fact, yes, it's been repaired. It's had a new section put in around there, which is perhaps a bit of filler in that corner, I should think, in the front corner there. But it has been repaired and it's not, uh, not about to fall apart by the look of it. Um, near side rear wing, there's a sort of a long gouge that they've painted over just along there. And then top of the near side barrel side, bottom of the barrel side rather. It all looks quite nice underneath actually. Looks like it's had a new rear cross member on it fairly recently and stuff, possibly a rear quarter chassis. It all looks pretty good there. Um, around the tail end, all looks pretty smart. There's a slight dent just there next to the reversing light, but otherwise all looks pretty good. Um, in the back here, this all looks fine as I say apart from it's red in the back obviously my bag doesn't come with it um, it's got the twin speakers in there instead the radio the, the I'm not sure if the CD works not certainly the radio does work but I can't pick up much of an aerial signal so uh, you might need to either replace the aerial or make it work properly um, tailgate is great no problems there again possibly repaint it re, um, 
possibly been refurbished. It's all pretty good. Down the offside, not so many dents and ripples in the offside, it's fair to say. It's actually um, offside rear wing, it's all pretty good. There's a slight depression just there along there. Uh, but up on the top, oh, one thing we didn't point out, there are a couple of um, couple of minor dents in the roof side up here on the near side. Again, are old, they've been painted over. There's a couple of minor dinks in the, uh, in the roof corner there. Um, driver's door, again, there's a sort of a long gouge along there that's been... Uh, painted over um, and a couple of minor ripples here and there but say no electrolytic reaction just one or two tiny bubbles just coming up again on the base of the door um, a post again looks good scuttle call on the driver's side the same as the other side really it's um, it all looks pretty sound behind there possibly some filler in it I can say but it's been uh, all covered over um, offside front wing actually isn't too bad looks like it's been uh, a couple of minor little sort of crinkles in it here and there. I don't know why these insects are loving it so much, but there you go. Um, perhaps the botanists among you can tell me. No, uh, tiny, tiny bit of play in the bottom hinge on the driver's door by the look of it. Yeah, tiny bit of play. But again, the driver's door has been um, uh, repaired down the bottom here. So the new, uh, all the sections sort of all redone. Um, in here on the driver's side, it all looks quite smart. The, uh, the driver's seat cushion side area is very slightly worn here. You can see that, but uh, no more than that. Um, there we have it. Door shut properly. Outrigger looks good on the offside there. As it does on the near side, in fact. Yeah, that's about it. Um, my name's Simon. You can reach me on 0771. 906 9353 or in the office on 0118 946 3352 or you can go to our website which is www.motodrome.co.uk for any further info that's about it and obviously we take part exchanges we take visa and mastercard credit cards and debit cards with a two percent surcharge for credit cards and we can ship it anywhere you like in the world obviously the cost that's it and